Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Salamance in the Open Ultra League to see what we have going on here. We're going to be pairing it up with Skeledurge as well as for Alligator Shadow. This Salamance does have some pretty good IVs. I've had it for a while as you can see from the date 2019 and I've had this move on it. I'm just now powering it up for the Ultra League. Okay so let's go ahead and test it out. Might as well have a little fun with it. Now Outrage was going to be the community day move and here is the problem farming up to that move without another move that's going to cost less energy is a little bit bad for it because it's a little bit squishy especially if you're using the shadow so if it had something that cost less energy it could help it out but then again take a look at that fire blast you're going to see that happening throughout this entire video and it works out great for salamats when you're going up against those fairy types or maybe even a steel type. If they're not expecting it, shields are down, it's gonna be putting in the work. But with that said, let's go ahead and just see what we have going on here. And again, these IVs on this Salamance are gonna be pretty good. I don't know what rank it was, I didn't check, but it's a 0, 14, 15, and that is pretty stinking good here. Uh, all right, so I was out there grinding. I was able to get enough XL candies for another max out. I'm not gonna max out the current one that I had. It's at level 40. I didn't invest any XL candies because it's a 14, 15, 15. And guess what? I found myself a 100 today, so I'll be powering that up. Unfortunately, no Shundo, but that's okay. I still haven't invested in it because I'm thinking, do I really need that right now? Because I do have the shadow as well as many others. But let's go ahead and take a look at these battles here. And like usual, Skeledurge and Feraligatr are gonna be putting in the work. And this Salamence actually did quite well. I was having a lot of fun with it. I might actually just use it again. Meh. I don't know. It's definitely fun to use a few times, but uh, we'll maybe move along here. Uh, we'll see what the damage is here. Of course, shadows are going to be doing a whole hell of a lot more. I do have that level 50 completely maxed out. Bringing back that Venusaur here, we do resist the grass massively with the types that we are. And we're going to go ahead and shield this up because a Frenzy Plant will KO us at this point with that Shadow Frenzy Plant coming from that Venusaur. Going to go for the Outrage to take it out as they have no more shields. And they back out there. Salamance was really putting in the work for me. And it was so satisfying hitting those fairies with that Fire Blast like we've seen earlier. Next game, we're met with a Clefable. This is going to be a good lead for us. They're going to be swapping into Talonflame. We're going to go ahead and bring in that Feraligator and get to that Hydro Cannon before they throw anything here. Brave Bird. We probably will get KO'd, but they're going to just let it go. And that's a wrap there. Wow. Salamance didn't even get to have any fun for that battle. We're going to go ahead and just go unedited into the next one here without any cuts to see what we're going to be met with here. Maybe we can get a little action with that Salamance. And we're met with a... Okay, yeah. Okay. Can't even complain. I was getting some pretty good leads here, so... We'll figure this out. Shadow Swampert bringing in my Shadow for Alligator and getting off this Hydro Cannon will do a good amount of damage to them. Wow, that's a lot more than I suspected. And we'll let this go here. Just a Hydro Cannon from them and they're going to be bringing in their Charizard. Sounds good to me. Now, we haven't used a shield yet. If we shield this up, they might be able to farm us down with Wing Attack. I don't think they will. Let's see what happens here. So going for the Hydro Cannon, of course, and we're getting the first shield out of them. And we get to the Hydro Cannon, fantastic. So what they're gonna do is shield this up and I would assume farm me down and have a bunch of energy or we're KO'd there. All right, we got it off just in the nick of time. So we're gonna bring in the Skeleturge because we can take their hits as opposed to the Salamance that's gonna be taking a lot of damage from that Dragon Claw and it can't take a hit as it is. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and go for the Disarming Voice. It doesn't take them out, that's okay. They're gonna retreat, bring in their Talonflame. We're gonna go for a Shadow Ball and then swap into the Salamance here and try to farm them down. Now, this could be a Brave Bird, so uh, I'm gonna let it go. It is just a Flame Charge, okay? So good stuff, good stuff. Do we get them? Yes, we do. And we still have that Shield left and a bunch of energy. We're gonna definitely shield up this Charizard because that Dragon Claw would probably KO us. And this Swamper getting to a Charge move, but I don't think anything would take us out unless they did have Sludge Wave, and we are taking that win there with the Salamance. So it is gonna be the same type as Dragonite, and I will just be honest with you, Salamance is going to be good for raids for sure, but when it comes to PvP, as you see here, it's putting in the work. Yeah, when it's put in the right place here, it's definitely going to be fun to use, uh, but you're better off just using uh, Dragonite, okay, or Shadow Dragonite. Honestly, it's going to be much better for you, uh, and you don't need the Community Day move. Yeah, there's no Community You don't need Draco Meteor. Superpower as well as Dragon Claw. If you want to run Hurricane, you could do that. It even has an upgrade to Steel Wing now, so you may want to give that a shot. I'm not trying to discourage you from using <laughs> Salamance or anything, but it, you're very vulnerable out here. Look at the energy. It takes forever. Sure, you're hitting like a truck, but man, 
you're really sitting out there kind of just uh, waiting to get t destroyed by a spam Pokemon. All right, so this Obama Snow is going to get one shot. Folks, you ready for this? You ready for this? Let's go, let's go. Oh my goodness, good night, sleep tight. <laughs> they do have a uh, lantern in the back. It's fine, we can let this go. A surf's not going to be enough to take us out here. And they no, can't take us out with that quick move. We're going to go ahead and throw the Shadow Ball. I think we're just going to let this go and then just finish them off with the Salamance. Or we're going to get to the Disarming Voice before they throw their next charge move here. Probably trying to build up to two. And we take that win. All right, looking good. Next game, what do we have going on? All right, so, so far, what, two Fire Blasts or three? I lost count once I paid attention. All right, next game, this is not a good lead here, giving us another water in the front, this Tentacruel. At least we do it resist the poison, so we have that going on. And we're getting a shield out of them, so we're going to immediately swap and bring in our Feraligator. We'll let this go. More than likely, it's going to be a Scold. Still doing a good amount of damage, and also lowering... Did they lower stats? Again, they need to make it in different color uh, font so we can see that a little bit better. It is at a times two speed, so yeah. All right, so we do have a Scrafty out here. We're going to obviously just keep on spamming it. We're going to let that power up punch go. Hold on to our shields here, and they will be able to get off a foul play, so we do need to keep that in mind. I think I bring in the Skeleturch and just farm them down. And yeah, that works. So one more quick move, and we're going to be able to take them out. And we're going to have a bunch of energy, and it is still one-to-one -one shield. Yeah, we're loaded up here. Shadow Ball or Disarming Voice ready to go. And we do have that Salamence lying in wait in the back. We're just going to immediately throw the Shadow Ball here onto the Tentacruel and then swap into the Salamence. And we'll let this go. Uh, hopefully it's not a Blizzard. Okay, just a Skull. Sounds good to me. And they do have an Obstagoon in the back. So Outrage is still going to be doing a decent amount of damage here. All right, they're shielding up that first one. Okay. Now they will be able to outpace me, so it's going to be probably better if I just let this go because um, at least we can take a hit on the Skeleturge as opposed to the Salamance, and we'll be able to continuously build up energy for the next Pokemon here because I don't think we're going to get to the next one. I think we just farm them down. Yeah. Perfect. All right, so this is exactly what we wanted to do. They're not going to get to another Skull before we get to this. It's not very effective, but their health is so low, it will be enough to take them out, and we take that win with the Salamance. Moving it on to the next game here. I haven't even counted how many shinies I got. I'll, I might make a video. Great lead with that. Alolan Ninetales are going to be swapping into Jellicent. And I bring in the Feraligator. This is probably going to be a Shadow Ball. We're going to let it go. And we call the Surf. All right. That's great. That's a really good call there. And going for the Crunch. All right. So a Shadow Ball at this point will KO. So we're going to go ahead and shield it up. And then just farm them down. If they bring in that Ninetales, that's okay. Ice doesn't resist. Uh, water, so we will be looking good there. And it is going to be Charm, unfortunately. That's okay. Um, it's actually this is a this is a great position to be in here. Obviously, getting rid of the fairy because of the Salamance. They let it go, holding on to two shields, and they do have a Tentacruel in the back. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring in the Salamance to just kind of do a ton of damage with the Dragon Tail here. Although they are still holding on to two shields. Uh, there's really no way that they can win this at this point with the Skeleturge on the team that has pretty much full health and a Scold won't take it out. So, uh, yeah, looking pretty good here. I think I bring in the Feraligator to have them throw. Okay, or we're just going to do a little bit more damage, kind of force them to use their last shield here. And that's exactly what happens. And this is looking great. We can let this go again. And even if that Ninetales has energy, if they have a Psy Shock, that will be enough to KO. But let's see what happens here. Wait, is there... No, what am I talking about? That thing is long gone. <laughs> Hello, pay attention. All right, taking out that Tentacruel and looking pretty good here. Skeleturge, I'm telling you, is amazing. It pairs up so well with so many Pokemon. Tapu Koko, okay, sounds good. They're going to be swapping into an Alolan Muff Purified here. Uh, this is a Snarl, so this is going to be Dark Pulse here, unfortunately, doing a lot of damage, but I am going to hold on to my shield um, and just kind of spam them with the Disarming Voice which will do a dis decent amount. We're going to get a shield, so I decide to swap into the Feraligator. We'll let this go. Just holding on to those shields for the Salamance, as you really do need them. Unless it's something that's doing a ton of damage with the quick move pressure, then there's really nothing you can do, and it's all waste. All right, so they're bringing back that Tapu Koko. I think they let this all go here. I don't quite... Uh, something I farm them down. They don't throw anything. Let's see. And... Okay, never mind. I... I don't know why I was thinking they didn't throw, but I feel like they had more energy than that. Oh, they didn't even have a chance to throw. Okay, that's why. All right, so going to go straight for that Shadow Ball here on that Jellicent. Swap into the Salamance, 
And Shadow Ball's not enough. See, this is the nice thing about running a kind of bulkier IV set non-Shadow Salamance is that it can actually take a hit and survive to do a ton of damage right back because its attack stat is very good and a lot of its moves are just straight nukes. Pretty much everything. Outrage, uh, Fire Blast, what else? Hydro Pump. All right, next game we're met with a Verizion. This is a good lead for us, sounds good. They're gonna be swapping into Heliolisk and this is actually going to be a horrible kind of situation for me. And I'm thinking, what the hell? So I'm just gonna stay here and let this go and call it a breaking swipe. Don't even think they got the attack drop, they didn't. Immediately throwing that disarming voice. All we need to do is win this matchup here. At this point, it doesn't even matter. Um, because, see, Salamance can go up against the Verizion 2 if it has Leaf Blade. If it has Stone Edge, it's not going to be looking great, but we can handle both of those as we do resist it. Letting that Shadow Ball go, and we're still holding on to two shields, swapping into the Feraligator to just start throwing some damage here. Even though they resist it, I mean, they really can't take any more of those. Otherwise, they're going down, which is crazy. That's just Shadow Feraligator for you. Easily letting that go, just feeling up what kind of move they have, bringing in the Salamance, and they do back out. We take that win. Let's get it with that Community Day Pokemon. So having Outrage is obviously going to be a lot better for you, and it's the move that you're going to want to use for it. Plus, when it does Mega Evolve, when you use it in a raid, having that move is just simply going to make it the best version of itself. Although Shadow Salamance is doing more damage, but then again, the Mega is staying in battle a little bit longer, and I'm talking about those raids. All right, we do have a Mirror Match here, and we're shielding this up. Shadow Ball, very good. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw mine. But they're throwing their Jellicent to catch here, which is great. We're just going straight for the Shadow Ball. And we're going to bring in our Salamance here. I want to just farm them down. Shadow Ball is going to do a good amount of damage. But again, this bulkier set is allowing you to actually take a hit. And the Shadow, you just can't take hits. That's just the unfortunate part. Your damage is off the chart. But it just drives me crazy honestly it just drives me crazy so i just use this one here all right landing the outrage and pretty much almost taking out that skeleturge which is good we'll bring in our own i do believe and that's actually a wrap folks there you have the salamance community Day outrage if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up thank you for watching and take care <laughs>